Small SUVs are the UK's fastest growing market, so it's no surprise that loads of car makers are building exactly that. Keen to show buyers that you can have a tall ride height, small car versatility and decent practicality all in one swanky package. This is Hyundai's effort and it's called the Kona. The Kona is similar in size to a Nissan Juke, but unlike the Juke, can be specified in front-wheel drive and four-wheel drive. It's also available with a selection of petrol, diesel and electric power units and gets Hyundai's lengthy five-year warranty. But it isn't warranties that are going to grab attention in this segment, but style. And this is where the Kona has gone all out. With so many different vents and wings and bits of plastic and lights all competing for your attention. And that's before you specify a contrasting colour roof. It'll certainly get you noticed, but be warned that this shape is incredibly colour sensitive. So going for a hue like this galactic grey is as stylistically safe as you're going to get. While the outside is all crazy shapes, inside is comparatively flat, functional and a bit lacking in flair. There isn't much in the way of soft touch plastics, but the equipment list is generous. There are five trim levels to choose from, but even entry level S versions receive 16 inch alloy wheels, electric windows, cruise control and a five inch touchscreen infotainment system. Although this test car's 8 inch touchscreen infotainment system with navigation, cruise control, privacy glass and a wireless charging pad for your phone are courtesy of premium trim levels and above. If you opt for premium SE or GT, there are further big car features such as a heated steering wheel, heated and cooled leather seats and a head up driver display. In terms of storage space, it's only okay as is space in the back and while the boot is smaller than some rivals, it benefits from a spare tyre, a completely flat loading bay and rear seats that tumble easily, making this a very practical car for loading buggies or luggage. You'd imagine high-sided cars to be quite sloppy to drive, but the Kona is a small SUV that steers keenly, changes direction quickly and resists roll. If anything, you could call the suspension to be a little bit on the firm side for some tastes, not having the pliancy of rivals such as the Seat Arona. With the electric Kona sold out for the foreseeable future and people from this segment particularly deserting diesel in their droves, your best bet is to choose one of the two peppy turbocharged petrol engines. If you want four wheel drive or an automatic gearbox, which is a very good seven speed dual clutch automatic gearbox by the way, your only option is the 1.6 litre petrol. Now, while it is quite punchy, there is a trade-off in more cost, more emissions, less economy. So our pick of the range would actually be the smaller one litre turbocharged three-cylinder petrol engine, which sounds tiny, but it is characterful and more than capable. It's coupled to a six-speed manual gearbox, which has quite short gearing, so it feels quite fun and fizzy around town, although it does get a bit noisy under hard acceleration and at high speed, so this isn't a car you want to spend loads of time on the motorway with. But it is competent and capable. The main reason why people would choose the Kona over a multitude of other models in this crowded market is primarily because of the way it looks. So if you're a fan of the way it looks, then you can head to the Car Keys website for a free quotation or to read our full written review.